hello. Hello. How are we doing? It is Saturday. What am I even doing here? Uh, you know, I was just already knitting. And I figured I might as well turn on the camera. So I will show you what I have managed so far. Hello, how are you? This is where we've gotten to so far on this lovely. So. This is, this is where we've gotten to. Uh, I am on the second page of directions, so I do have that going for me. I need to turn on some lights in here. It is pretty dark. My apologies. My apologies. Let me grab some lights. Some lights! Ta-da! Let there be light. Let there be light. Here we are. You're probably in an ad. So I am into we have I am good. How are you doing? I I've been working on this for a little bit. Yes, it looks chaotic if you weren't here for <laughs> For the explanation, um, this is what I'm calling the chaos sweater. You were in an ad, yeah. Ah, I'm glad you're doing fine. So this is going to be a sleeve. To a sweater that uh, a few days ago chat helped me design uh, the pattern for, which is why it's got a little bit of a uh, flavor to it, one might say. One might say. So, ah, where is... I have got to grab something real quick. But what are you up to tonight? Or afternoon? Or morning? <laughs> Whatever time it is for you. What are you up to? It's good to see you again. <gasps> You're finishing a bit of crochet. Nice, nice. And it's nighttime. You're a beginner. I am a beginner knitter. So I feel you on that one. I am quite, quite new to knitting in the scheme of things. A lot of people have been going a lot longer than I have. Uh, I am coming up on about a year of knitting. So I'm, re I'm really still a beginner. How long have you been crocheting? Three weeks. Okay. Yeah. That's a very, very, very new, new crocheter. Still, that's exciting. Okay. I'm trying to see. Lee, welcome in. 
How are you doing today, Lee? How are you doing? Late night stream? Yes, yes, yes. Well, it's only 4 p.m. for me. So, not that late. <laughs> not that late for me. Uh, there we are. I'm just trying to get everything up and going. We're getting there. We're getting there. But I was just kind of uh, giving the tour, so to speak, of the chaos sweater. What we have so far. So, um, yeah. I have a lot of dangly bits, so, but excuse me. <laughs> so the first thing we knit into the stripes was a pokeball. And then we began working on this lovely little watermelon here. Oh yeah. And then uh, I think after the watermelon came, yeah, this, this little bunny. <laughs> and then I started working on our little frog right here. And now uh, I'm also working on a Triforce on this side. So I've got two shapes going right now, a gradient pattern of greens, and oh man, is, is it a thing that's going on? It's going. It's going. I, now I have to try to figure out if I... The game, I know of it, I have not played it. Okay, so I have three. I'm trying to figure out here what is up with this Triforce. Because I think I'm one off. <gasps> Hi! Hi, Liv. A bit like the hero. True, actually. How are you doing? So this is the... Uh, the chaos sweater I was talking, that uh, Pad was talking about, uh, that you may have, may have heard a thing or two about. So this is where I'm at right now. It's a sleeve worked from the bottom up that chat helped me design. And being designed by chat means that it's a little chaotic, hence the name. We have a uh, Pokeball, a rabbit, a watermelon, a frog, and uh, we're also working on a Triforce, which looks a little off. It, it's going to be a look, that's for sure. Will questions be asked? Most likely. <laughs> it's definitely a look. So I was just realizing that I think I made a problem here for myself at some point. Three, two. Because this is off and count just slightly. So I think the top triangle is going to be a little short here. Maybe. It shouldn't be. I'm gonna back up. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Straighten that up. So my problem mostly is right now that I started the Triforce at the inside seam of the sweater arm. 
and uh, it's uh, it's a little bit of an issue because technically my Triforce is going to be a little bit lopsided. So now I'm going to have to worry about that being a problem. But I'm glad. I'm glad you're doing okay. What are you up to? Are you off also a crafter? Okay. So I think I'm going to back this out one stitch here. So I'm going to need five stitches in the center. Five stitches in the center. So this is going to have to be the edge. We're going to have to make do, is what we're going to have to do. When you're done app up, you just have to make, make do with what you can. Which might look a little ugly, but you know, we can make it work. You're doing crochet, working on a square for a crochet along blanket. Ooh, that sounds fun. I recently did a, uh, a knit along for making gnomes and it was a uh, it was a little little fun it was a little chaotic we knit way too many hats for said gnome but you know it all worked out <laughs> how is the blanket coming along though is it turning out how you expected it to Got quite the quite the thing going on here. Hopefully this still comes off as looking triforce shaped with the adjustments I had to make. Okay, which one of you needs tightened? Possibly you. No. Why aren't you tightening it? Ugh. Color blocks in knitting is uh, not my most fun time experience. It's not the most fun thing I could be doing. Especially on this level. Where is the green? Goodness. So yeah, chat designed this for me, and it's it's a it's a pattern. It's a thing. <laughs> you did something wrong, but now you're 20 rows in. It looked like it should. So ooh, I'm so glad. I the whole time I was doing a mystery knit along, I was concerned that I was doing it wrong. So I feel you 100%. And I'm somewhat beginning, I'm a somewhat beginner at knitting. So it was definitely weird for me to not know all of the directions or to know what it was supposed to look like until it was done. So I feel you, I feel you. I should have maybe knit in one of these. I'm hoping this is that this is still going to look like a Triforce. <laughs> because I am nervous. I don't know. I'm always nervous. Okay. You two are going to go on an adventure together. I've been doing a sort of knit. <gasps> Lyra! Yes! Yes, yes. Yes, a late stream. How are you doing, Lyra? You don't know? 
You know nothing about knitting, but it's it, it is different from crochet. Well, they can have somewhat similar outcomes. I think crochet is gives you a lot more freedom. <laughs> For sure, crochet gives you a lot more freedom. So, when you knit, you are pretty limited on what kind of needles you're using. So, whether you're using, let me see, these flat ones, which I have somewhere in here. You are limited to knitting down this line and back. You must knit down the line, and you must knit back, and you must not drop any stitches, or you're screwed. <laughs> Whereas crochet, using a hook, allows you to knit in different shapes without being confined to that specific shape of the needle. So it allows you to make much smaller things, it allows you to make uh, things a lot quicker. And it allows you to have a little more freedom to where you can, where, wh what you can make and where it goes. Because with knitting, you are stuck on that hoop. You are enslaved, yeah, you're enslaved. You're enslaved to the needle. You cannot, uh, you have to go along it and you have to go along that line and you have to make sure every stitch gets stitched into that line or else you are screwed because as soon as you drop a stitch that is running all the way down it's going on an adventure and not necessarily one you want it to go on so you have a lot more freedom with crochet also, it's a lot quicker. Knitting is uh, a very slow craft. <laughs> very slow. Yeah, crochet. Yeah, crochet is much quicker. So yeah yeah knitting is slow but it's it's fun i'm not gonna complain about that so knitting to give you a time reference uh i started this fairly early this morning so i've been at i've been working on this for a good probably six hours today so far and i was here when I started today so this is six hours of work <laughs> whereas with crochet you have you you can make the movements quicker and you can go quicker I know people who can do a whole crochet project in the span of a stream I've been working on this for like a week now so, it takes time. I think I am. I think I'm using size. Ah, do you like to suffer? Well, if I, I can answer that by, with the, uh, these are 3.25 millimeter. Uh, that's why you stop knitting. <laughs> um, do I like to suffer? Well, I did let chat pick my patterning for my sweater. So, do I like to suffer? That would be a good answer for you. You typically would not want this many color changes in a sweater. I'm just saying, you would not. <laughs> Thank you. 
So do I like this offer? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> That's just because I enjoy I do enjoy chaos. I thrive in, in a chaotic environment. Only a slightly chaotic. A controlled chaotic environment. Yeah, knitting with smaller needles is time consuming. I'm using a, like, what is it? Size 9, which is US terms, I know. Uh, size 9 for the cardigan that I'm knitting. Hi, Hannah, how you doing? Uh, I am using, you learned how to crochet? <gasps> nice! I'm excited for you. So, uh, I, I do use larger needles for other projects, but this pattern itself called for smaller ones. So I ba I'm basing the build of the pattern off of a different sweater, just for numbers sake. But the color changes and the shapes are all chat. <gasps> Hi, Hannah. Are you new? <laughs> Welcome in. <laughs> so, I do usually use larger needles for these things, but I was going off of what the pattern told me. And plus, the... Yeah, who's Hannah? Plus, with the amount of stitches that I have going, I actually don't mind using the smaller needles because the stitches are smaller. Because I have to fit a whole lot of shapes in this. A whole lot of shapes in this. I've got the top part of the frog head going on. So, I wanted as many stitches as I could feasibly handle on this thing. Because I needed enough room to be able to fit several shapes working in the color blocks at the same time. Because I didn't know what sort of chaos I was I was in for. I did not know the sort of chaos that I was in for. We have three. I will do one more in the green. Maybe. You know what? I miscounted on the top of the frog eye. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna fix it. My, yeah, my anniversary stream was quite successful. <laughs> you're crocheting a baby blanket then gave up because you're impatient. Yeah, uh, knitting and crocheting are both like slow, slow hobbies. So it's more something you have to have patience with than you do, which is very hard sometimes, I know. But, you know, you do this instead of looking at your phone for several hours a day and then suddenly you have something made. The last thing you knitted was a sock. Ooh, I like that. I have to... I have to completely frog the sock that I started because the pattern was not a very good pattern. She still has to find her other half. <laughs> someday, someday, she will meet the sock of her dreams. And they will fall in love and be paired. At least for some part of time. As I uh, always lose my socks. Okay. Okay. We have a thing. We have a frog. I will show you as soon as I get far enough away from the frog what... Yeah. Oh yeah. They make for a great personalized gift. And everyone's always so impressed with you when you say you made it yourself. Oof. Don't make that stitch black. Don't you do it. I know you're chaotic, but you're not that chaotic. Tighten these up. And then let me get around. 
Oh, yeah. Sock needles are tiny. I use sock needles for a lot of things. Not sock related. And there we, that's for sure. And they will give you the hand cramps like no other. I can do lots of different stuff in, in it. We. <laughs> You can knit pretty much anything into, into a knitting project. And there's tons of free patterns online if you want to get into knitting. Or crochet. I mean, really, there's, there's a lot of both. You made a scarf and it was a huge success. Yeah, everyone's always so impressed with hand knit projects. No, you don't need money for patterns. There are tons of free patterns online. Tons. You can look on websites like, is it, because like every like big yarn manufacturer has a website with patterns on it. Uh, there's a website called Ravelry that has all sorts of patterns for free on it. Like, the basis of the sweater was a free pattern. Ribbler, yeah. So you don't have to buy patterns. Unless you're looking for something specific that you can only find by buying it. But there's a balloon animal dog one. Yeah, well, like I said, if you were looking for something very specific, you might have to, but... Like my... Never-ending journey towards making a Edwardian bicycling sweater. I had to buy that pattern because I wanted something very specific out of my Edwardian bicycling sweater. <laughs> and when you want something very specific, you, you gotta... You, you might have to buy it, is all I'm saying. But... As long as you're not looking for something very, very specific, you should be good. You're looking for generic socks? There is a generic sock pattern out there for you. You looking for a sweater? <laughs> there is a generic sweater pattern out there for you. You can choose whatever colors you want. You can knit things. Once you get down, knitting down, you can feasibly put any patterning color-wise that you want into it. Hence the... By the way, look at that fellow. He's a cutie. It's late over here. Yes, you have a great sleep. Get tons of rest. Have a spectacular rest of your night. I'll see you around. So we are on the second round of this. Uh, light, lighter green. We are going to move to the mint next. So I'm basically changing colors every other, every other right now. Crazy enough. Every other row is a change. I'm going to back out one stitch. So doing something like this. You will spectacularly get to bed. Totally. If you are capable of backflips, you do it. I personally would probably like end up 
having to sleep in the hospital if I try to backflip, but... If you're capable of backflips, you go for it. I believe in you. Ooh, yeah, magic rings are hard. I hear. Well, you can work up to it. Right? Save it. If it's a pattern that you don't have to buy, you can save it. And once you get to the skill level you need to be at, you can give it a try. That's, that's what I'm doing with my Edwardian bicycling sweater. I know I'm not at the skill level to do it right now. But I know that I want it and I want to make it eventually. So therefore, I... am holding on to it until the day comes that I am capable of knitting that thing. And as soon as I can, I'll be doing it. Okay. That one goes there. These ones cross over. I'm kind of weaving in my ends as I go. It also helps with uh, keeping holes away from your project when you change colors, so it comes in handy. So three stitches in the yellow. This is the beginning of my row. Because I realized I needed that when I started knitting a Triforce. <laughs> when I started knitting a Triforce in the center of the seam. I decided I should stop being stop being at least that that chaotic. I mean the name of the game is chaos, but one shan't be that chaotic. Okay. So with that said and done, we need to switch greens again. <sighs> A deep sigh. To this minty green. Mint chocolate chip. Turn that off. Hannah, Liv made a good suggestion for you. In chat. I don't know what a CH4 is. But. I don't crochet. So I don't know the terminology, but good suggestion. All the same. We take a good suggestion when we can get our hands on one. Okay, I have tons of chain four. Ooh, chain four. We take a good suggestion when we can get our buns on a good suggestion. leave that there. We will take these two with us on a little bit of an adventure. So the real chaos here is the, hey, hey, G. Arnold, how you doing? What are you up to on this fine evening? Gary, <laughs> Greg. Gregathan. Gregabeth. What other words can I impose Greg over? How are you doing today, Greg? I am knitting on. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, speaking of, speaking of. Hold on. Let me do let me do the thing. Let me do the thing. Let me make sure I can
can spell today. Does it work? Does it work? Wee. Uh, it's kind of hard to see because it's black, um, but you know, I didn't. I didn't want to make. I wanted to make it agoraphobic friendly, so I kind of went for the more cutesy vibe. Not agoric. Oh my gosh, arachnophobic. Thank you. See, I can't talk tonight. It's bad. Uh, but yeah, and then so I got spider silk. Um, did a couple different things on here. But yeah, <laughs> that's brilliant. Yeah. So my friend. Queen Bee Crafty is going full time on Monday. So if you have not followed already, you should give give her follow. Because she is amazing and she makes very awesome things called jarts. Wednesday, Wednesday, yes. Next week. Next week. Going full time, which can be very scary, but I believe in her. She can do it. So if you haven't given her a follow give her a follow she is the best and they they have the cutest dog ever so if you do like dogs especially dogs with sass go give me a follow so you can get in on the dog sass too because it is the best dog sass and her sass she's pretty sassy too I'm the best. And I'm apparently magic. Because when I yell at... When I yell at V's camera, V's camera focuses. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm happy to get, get it out there because it it can definitely be very nerve-wracking to, to be doing something new. Especially, you know, this. And she deserves it. She deserves all the love. I, yeah... Yeah, me, me and Zuli have an agreement with each other. Me and Zuli, we got an agreement. I yell, she focuses. She does the thing. Which is important. Yes, she is awesome, Charts Amazing. And I enjoy hanging out in her streams pretty much every time she's on, as much as I can get in there. We have a Triforce, almost. We have most of a, most of a Triforce. If I can get it. <laughs> we have a watermelon. We have a Pokeball. We have a bunny rabbit. And uh, where is the Froggo? We have a frog. Hoomst is very cute. Is very cute. So, Chaos Sweater is coming along. Yes, yeah. Uh, so, the pattern of this sweater was was picked via wheel spins, gift subs, uh, bits, subs, and uh, so chat decided my sweater. So 100 bits equaled a shape off that you could pick off of a list of shapes. And uh, somebody picked a Triforce. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and I had to get it in in the green, of course. It had to be in my big green stripe. Which is a gradient. I don't know if I can get it to show up right. but We go from light green to dark green to light again. So yeah, we, we're we getting there. I'm on page like two of four directions. So um, I've got a ways to go. I've got a ways to go. <laughs> Wait, I'll link that low. Yeah, yeah. It, it had to be on the green patch. That's why I started it. Because I wasn't starting uh, the shapes until I had already finished one. 
But I had to get the frog and the Triforce in the green section. Because I had to, right? You just have to. It's important to, to me, anyways. That they both reside in the, in the green stripe. But yeah, I'm not even a full... I am like a half forearm in. You're gonna go... <gasps> yeah! Yeah, you have a great rest of your night. Do whatever you need to do. I know you were you were in Pad Thai's uh, stream before, so make sure you take care of yourself. Get your sleeps on. Green. Mint chocolate chip. Yes. Oh, yes. I we wove in all the ends, so now it's a very good mint chocolate chip. Aw, oh, yes. <laughs> I enjoy that it's mint chocolate chip so much. And now you're forever going to have that because I'm still honoring uh, stripes for gift subs and subs in the sweater pattern because I needed more background. So you're also going to have six lines of stitches of mint chocolate chip in the sweater. So, yeah. <laughs> you get to be in the sweater too. It's gonna look great. I have a very green sweater, coincidentally. Uh, I had someone spin a wheel and they got uh, five rows of whatever color they wanted and they chose for it to be a gradient of greens from light to dark and then uh, Disaster rated in with five viewers so I, they also got five, five rows of the color of their choosing and chose to make it green from dark to light. So, we're gonna have a big, long patch of greens. Big, long green patch. That is okay, because I think it looks stellar. I think it looks pretty stellar. I'm pretty pleased. Green's one of my favorite colors, so you can't go wrong with that. It's snowing. I just looked out my window and I noticed that it started to snow. It wasn't snowing when I was outside, just a few minutes before I went live, but it's, it's coming down now. Like quite heavily. I didn't even know we were supposed to get snow. So I don't know. I'm not going to complain too much. Ooh, ooh, how you doing? Oh. Hydrate! I didn't even bring anything to drink with me! Oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna have to be right back. I've gotta grab something to drink. Hi, Frostbringer. Why are you hobbling? First of all. Why are you hobbling? Hobbling? Why are you hob hobbling? Since I can't speak today. Give you a stern motherly look. Why are you hobbling? I'm gonna go get, a, get something to drink. I will be right back.
come back. Swim me. You kind of went a little crazy. Like hobbling because your muscles are sore? Or hobbling because you injured yourself? Also, cheers, chat. Mm. That's tasty. Okay, because your muscles hurt bad. Okay, well, at least that's a temporary problem. I was worried. <laughs> I was just like, how did you injure your legs so bad from swimming? <laughs> how did you do at your swim meet, though? Did it go okay? But you're now fourth in your league for the 500 meter freestyle. Ooh, I like this for you. Congratulations. Congratulations. I'm excited for you. Also, I recall, uh, Greg, you said something about your arm, arms. Ah, staying flexible until arm wrestling practice night. You have practice for arm wrestling? That's actually pretty cool. I guess you have to practice arm wrestling. <laughs> but it, it always seems like it's like, do you, do you just meet up and arm wrestle? I need to understand. I need to understand, Greg. But definitely keep yourself flexible. I, I would not have it in me to arm wrestle. All non necessarily. <laughs> oh, you found something to help you, right, Kelly? Also, welcome in. Rest mode is now active. All of your non necessary body functions have been shut down. Nice. So you're basically capable of like eating, breathing, using the bathroom, drinking. Hi, how are you? It, excited, I'm sure. You've got, you've found something free to help you format your book and that's pretty exciting. Eating is kind of iffy. This makes sense. This makes sense. I'm gonna see how we do on this little battle we've got going on here. You're awesome. I like this for you, Kelly. It's only me and one uh, and two other guys. <laughs> Ooh, turn that down a little bit. My lord. But it's an easy battle, so I think we can do it. We did it. We did it. Ooh, and now we are 18. Evil gold badge. Oh no. Are we gonna turn evil? Are we naughty now? No, we wanna go with the mysterious one. Always go with the mysterious one. If you can go mysterious, always go mysterious. Why would you not? After your meet, you went to this restaurant that had some amazing fried perch. Is Was it amazing? Was it delicious? I'm not a fish person. I need to try fish again. I need to give fish another shot. It's been a long time since I've had fish, and uh, I should give it a chance. <gasps> Flaming Spite Bernado, it's good to see you again. <laughs> Hi! So what I am working on today is uh, the chaos sweater, which is uh, of course chaotic. I will show you what it's up to after I untangle it a little bit so I can tuck some of my ends in. So I let chat decide my uh, design for this pattern. Uh, so it's a bit chaotic to say the least. <laughs> it's 
So, uh, yeah, we have uh, a few items knitted in the sweater. <laughs> I think my favorite one so far is this frog. Because he's a cutie. I don't know if he's a he, but I'm calling him a he because he's, I don't know. It's easier to say he's a cutie. We got a Triforce going on in the back. And a little bunny friend named Sissel specifically. So chat decided my uh, design for this lovely uh, sweater sleeve uh, with the wheel spins and <laughs> subs and gifts and uh, bits. So each shape was 100 bits and oh, did we get some shapes. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. So right now I'm working on a color gradient from light to dark to light again in greens. So I've been changing yarns a lot over the course of the little under a week that I've been working on this. But it has been fun. It's been an experience. I keep looking outside and seeing that it's snowing more. So we're having fun. What are you up to tonight? How was your your weaving going? It was so cool to watch that. I'd never actually seen someone weave before. It was, it was exciting. <laughs> it's going well. I like this. I like this. Give me a momento. Why do I have an extra? Yes. Star? So. Flaming Viper NATO does weaving. And look how cool. Lucy. Did, like all the cards did, and all the, the you moving just things went around. Through the loom. And also a cat, by the way. <laughs> Ma'am. That is a cute cat. Ma'am. It's a cute cat. Why'd you do that? And <laughs> it amazes I'm me. I'm just gonna do this. So much how you can manage so many a little threat <laughs> because <laughs> you should see me when I have so many yarns going you're you're planning on trying out a new pattern to test idling cards with today Ooh, this is exciting <laughs> I I can imagine that that is kind of problematic with cats and working on like a more table topped craft Is that cats always want to be right on top of everything you do. No matter what it is. I need a new black thread. Oh, black threads. Black yarns. You have a good night or day too. I hope your crocheting goes well. Lucy demands pets a lot. Well, cats do be that way. Hi, welcome back. Welcome back. Yes, you have good luck with your with your crocheting and have a spectacular rest of your day. Oof, was I about to I was about to do the wrong thing. Fortunately, doesn't like playing with it. that. That is lucky. Uh, my mother-in-law's cat does like to try to grab onto anything I'm working on when I'm at her her place, which I do like to take knitting with me everywhere I go. Uh, for I don't know my own mental health. <laughs> so she does like to, on occasion, steal 
yarns from me. You can't make a heart? Oh no. You're a chosen human. I love that. Same with you and weaving. Oh, I love this. I love when people uh, take their stuff with them. Because it's it's super cool to do so. And, you know, it's good, good for your mental health to have something to do. Especially if you get yourself into a spot where you feel uncomfortable. It gives you, like, sort of like a coping mechanism. Something to make sure you're okay in a stressful situation. Yeah. Gotta do... You gotta have something to do when you don't know what you need to be doing. <laughs> 100%. Or if you just don't want a people and you're at a family function or something. Also comes in handy. Yes, yes. This is exactly the reason why. And for me, it's like having something to do with my hands. Something to distract me. Just makes, makes everything that much better. Oh, you found a quote for your book. Nice. Exactly. And that is always the hope that you'll be doing something and someone will be like, Ah, oh, I've always wanted to do that. And then you kind of make a friendo off of it too. It works. Okay, I need to leave the yellow here. No, I'm done with the yellow. So weave in the yellow. Weave in this black thread here. I'm trying to weave in as I go to avoid having too many tails hanging down and too many to manually sew in. And it's been a bit of a trial. But we are almost at the top of our Triforce. <laughs> I think I've actually made pretty decent progress on this today. I was saying before that I've been working on this for about six hours today before I started streaming working on it. I started somewhere around the green here today. So we've made it quite a ways. And I managed to cut out some fabric for the skirt I've been meaning to work on for the past week and a half. So I'm finally getting stuff done. I thought about doing a sewing stream today, but I, I didn't want to deal with trying to move the camera out to the other room. So I decided to do knitting instead. But I'm happy to be here. Happy to be here. We're at the very tippy top of the Triforce. The very tippy top. I am happy to see it. Although, then I have to decide what I want to work in next. Do I want to work on a bee or a piece of pizza? Oh goodness, it is coming down outside. <laughs> when it started snowing, I was like, oh, it's snowing lightly. Uh, now it's like near blizzarding out there. Pizza or a bee? A pizza bee. <laughs> That will be, one of those two will be our next shape. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I've got a lot of snow going on right now. Um, it started to melt a little bit yesterday. It did snow a little bit yesterday, but it kind of like melted down a little bit over the course of the night slash morning. And now it's uh, going again. And I don't know how long it's supposed to go for. Take a peek. Um, till about 10 o'clock tomorrow. <laughs> well, Hannah, it's something you can keep trying on. So at least you're starting to, to try things that you might not have tried before. <laughs> Me. When is it going to stop snowing? It's just not going to stop snowing. Just how it is. It's just not going to not gonna stop snowing. Why would it do that? I don't know which one I want to do. I kind of want to wait until we're out of the green, though. Possibly do the B. Oh yeah, we are used to snow here. Fortunately enough. We are used to snow where I am. It's uh, people more in the south of the US that have to worry about if they get snow because they're not capable of handling it down there. Uh, but I live in the in the north. I, I am... I am in Michigan, so we get quite a bit of snow up here. We're surrounded by water, so we get quite, quite the, the snow. At least it's been nice this year. Um, I like snow in the winter. Uh, now that I don't have to drive to work, I like snow in the winter, surprisingly enough. Back when I had to drive an hour and a half to work every day, not so much. But I now enjoy snow because I don't really drive uh, much further than probably. Uh, I think my longest drive that I do nowadays is like maybe a half hour to my grandmother's house. So you were anxious earlier. Now you're not anxious. Well, that's good. Uh, well, it could go either way. I don't know. Is that meant to reduce anxiety? I know a lot of, like, supplements and stuff that are meant to calm me down. Cause the opposite in me. So I don't take anything like that. If I were to, t like, uh, I used to drink, like, different teas that were meant to uh, be calming or help you sleep or whatever. And they would just make me anxious and give me nightmares. So. I don't, I don't partake of those sorts of things nowadays. <laughs> Insomnia medications, for the most part, uh, give me the opposite effect. Of making me even more awake than I was before. So I'm fairly cautious when it comes to using, like, supplements and stuff like that. Because they typically have an opposite effect on me. With an exception of, like, anesthesias, which are over-effective on me. Which, you can imagine, is problematic. Okay. We are almost done with the second round of the mint chocolate chip color. Now we're going to move on to a slightly lighter tone. 
just as soon as we get to the Triforce here, which is the last stitch of the Triforce. The very last stitch of Triforce. Ouch. Me foot. So, Flaming, what's your new pattern going to look like? I'm excited to see it. Are you going to work on it on stream? At some point? Almost all the way around. This part's gonna look a little bit silly. I was kind of hoping that the Triforce would end in the middle of a color for uh, the sake of it going to not look quite so weird, but it is ending right at the end of this color, which is all right. I will survive. And then the rest of this will look normal on the end of things. Or as normal as I can muster. There we are. And then one last stitch of the mint chocolate chip. And then we switch over to the lighter green. Get my fancy box of many colors. There we are. Um, and well, that lovely of you, and. Found it. Oof, this yarn is soft. So let's add this color in. We're gonna leave this one behind for now. And then we are going to tuck over the black and the other light green. It's hard to delineate between the two, but I shall do my best to. And then we can kind of get going again. So I'm going to try to weave these in as I go. Um, leaving behind the light tail. Because you don't want to weave in too many with this method at a time. Because you end up with like chunky bits. Um, you can manage one or two lines being woven in like this. Before it's just unmanageable. So you're going to put them over top the yarn you're using. Oof. You know, it also helps not to start to knit with your uh, tail. Professional. Such a professional. There we go. That helped. Necessary. You know. And once you get this woven into, say, six to probably eight, 
stitches, you can trim it. But you don't want to trim it too short. You still want there to be a little bit of a tail. So I'll do one more. Eh, I'll do a few more. Just because I don't want so many tails ending at the same point. I don't know. I'm a little weird about these sorts of things. Just like one more. One more. And then you can trim off the ends. Leave yourself a little tail. Snip. And then I only have like four tails left to weave in by sewing later. Which is nice. Uh, I'm glad that someone suggested this method for me. Because uh, having to weave in all of your ends with a needle takes a long time. A long, long, long time. So after these two rows of this color, we are done with that green gradient, which is fairly nice. Because that means we've made good progress. I just barely started the green gradient before today, so... I'm pretty excited. I'm fairly excited. So we finished the frog, we finished the triforce. That's two shapes today. I started both of those today. Wow. Speedy McNitter pants over here. Do we have any more of the- no, these are kind of all in the place where I'm going to have to sew those in. So I will wait. Very nice progress. Yeah. Uh, I started like here today. So psh, that's a pretty decent progress on a, on a sleeve. I am quite pleased. And I haven't had too much trouble with it. I think once that I once I finish the gradient here, I'm going to probably work on sewing in the ends again. So I'll switch back to the uh, top down camera because that works a little better for uh, the sewing stuff. I think I'm getting a little faster at knitting. Just a little faster. Especially when it comes to the uh, uh, color work. It's coming along. Hello there. Hi. Hi, Five Berries. What are you up to today? Thank you for the raid. What were you doing today on stream? It's good to see you again. Of course, if you do need to go, take care of yourself. You, you go take care of yourself. But what were you up to today? Hi! It's good to see you again. How are you? How are you? <gasps> Hi! Addressing wedding invites. Congrats! Congrats! That is a task and a half. Let me tell you. Addressing wedding invites does take a time. How are you, Scar? Or Scare. Scare. Woo. Scare. How are you doing today? It's good to see you. You're one follower away from 100. Oh, you know what we do? If you're here and you haven't already, go give five berries. Ooh, some, somebody go fire. give 
Somebody go give a follow. They are one. They are one away from 100. Be the person that sets them over this milestone. Jesus Christ. It's all right. Oh, it's a giant. And you were crocheting. What were you crocheting? It's a giant. Oh. <laughs> no problem. Oh my what were you God. crocheting? <laughs> oh my God. You're just floating off into oblivion. Guys, I can fly. <laughs> Yay! Congratulations, Five Berries. You made it! It just chooses a random one. So you never know what you're gonna get. Working on your patchwork sweater. Ooh. I like the sounds of this. I'm gonna have to go look at it sometime. I am currently working on a sweater as well. Uh, it, it's a fashion statement, this sweater of mine. Uh, this is a sleeve. But chat uh, helped me uh, with the... <laughs> chat helped me with the design. So we have quite the, uh, quite the, uh, thing going on here. This is our cute froggy friend that we just, uh, finished. We have a Triforce and a Pokeball. Thank you! It is definitely a, uh, it, I think the frog is my favorite. I'm not gonna lie, I don't usually pick- Oh, you have- you have a great rest of your day, whatever you're doing. But, we'll see you around. And I can't wait to hop in on one of your streams and see what you're up to, because your weaving is spectacular. I think the frog- oh, yeah, there's also a bunny. That's Sissel. And, uh, I think the frog is my favorite. I think he's the cutest so far. I'm not supposed to pick favorites, but the frog is pretty darn adorable. Can't lie. The frog is pretty darn adorable. Yes. And give your cat, give your cat a pat for me. Because I don't have a cat of my own to pat, so everyone I know that has a cat, go pat them in my honor. It's a necessity. I need it. I myself am getting pretty close to 200 followers, which I'm pretty excited about. Will do. Yes! Pet that cat for me. Owl! Yeah, thank you. Welcome in. I think he, I think this, I think this frog has done my favorite thing. I could honestly eat it for every meal. Thank you for the follow. Or just eat it all the time thank without even stopping. <laughs> and get fat. No, why would I get fat? This bread makes you fat. Welcome in. Yeah, I think he's definitely the cutest. This was a good choice. And he's the only one I'm gonna have. So... I'm excited to have him because he turned out so adorable. And even though I kind of messed up his eye sockets just a little bit, he turned out pretty darn cute. I think the octopuses that we're gonna have later are gonna be pretty darn cute too. Um, cause they're the kind with the little nubby legs. Ah, do I enjoy an octopus with little nubby legs? I do. And we're gonna have two of those. You've gotta go, but... Thank you for the raid. You have a good rest of your night. Congratulations on the wedding. Good luck with all of the invitations and wedding planning. That is the most stressful part of the wedding, I promise. I promise. 
but congratulations and you have a great rest of your night. Or day. <laughs> Whatever time zone you're in, have a spectacular one. It was good chatting with you again. Okay, we have a battle to win, first of all. But second of all, we have a sweater to knit. Same goes for everybody that raided in. If you do have to go, I do not mind. I do not mind. You you guys have been on for a while, I assume. So, you know, you can head off too if you would like. If not, just stick around. We are knitting and also playing stream raiders. Oof, that might be loud. I sorry. We're probably going to be not good at this. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be winning this one. <laughs> Sad music. But what is everybody up to today? What are you all up to today? Any other crafters here? If so, what is your craft of choice? Because crafts are kind of, uh... Crafts are kind of like drugs. You... You crochet and knit. Do you have a favorite of the two? Which one do you find to be easier? I have questions. I haven't tried crocheting yet. But I want to in the future. It just confuses me because I'm used to knitting. I'm used to a whole different set of directions. You used to prefer knit until your husband taught you. Okay. Yeah, I think a lot of people prefer crocheting because it seems a little easier. It seems a little faster. Which I can definitely get behind being quicker. Tighten that up. Now this row I'm going to weave in you have to go, but you'll be back. Ah, thank you. You have a good rest of your night, day, evening, morning, whatever time it is for you. You have a great one. It was nice to meet you. Weave this one in as we go so that we don't have to deal with the ends of it later. I am going to switch over to the top-down camera when I finish this next row uh, so that I can uh, do some sewing in of these ends because I only want to weave in as I go for so many uh, pieces of yarn at a time. Because it ends up really chonky. When I first started the weaving in as I go method, I had like five or six strands going weaving in at a time and it got to be a little too chonky. Well, we like some chalk around here. We don't like that kind of chalks. We don't like those kind of chunks too much. Because it just gets unwieldy.
You don't want like one part of your sweater being an inch thick. You don't want to be uncomfortable and also looking this fashionable. Because this is obviously a fashion statement, of course. One hundred percent. I forget how quick it is to knit without having to change colors every two seconds. For a little frame of reference, I was knitting two shapes into this at the same time. So I only got a reprieve from knitting in uh, with three different colors all at one time. Okay, one second. My my mom sent me a sent me a video. Sorry, I had to I had to look at it a little bit. Uh, it's snowing, so it's a it's a video pertaining some snow falling that we have going on. It's supposed to snow here for the next, like, 12 hours. So, 12, actually more than 12, like 15, 16, something like that. I would say, I'm not mathing right. Because it's only 5.30 now, and it's going until 9 a.m. We have, we have time. The one thing I don't like about these circular needles is the fact that they kind of unscrew as you go. And they start catching your yarn so it doesn't slide as nicely. And then you have to screw them back in. Or else they will slowly fall off. Which, you can imagine, is problematic. <gasps> you feel great? Well, I'm glad of that, Kelly. Are you... Have you finished the book that you're writing on? Any progress on it? You can publish your book in 13 days or less. <gasps> That's exciting. Do you have a publisher? I'm excited for you. I'm excited. Amazon? Oh, interesting. I guess I didn't know Amazon publishes books, but I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. self publish Okay, that, that does make sense then. Nice. That is pretty exciting. Okay. We are almost done with the green. I'm excited. What do we have after we finish the green? Orange. Oof. That's going to be a color change. By orange, I think primary orange. Ooh. That will be quite, quite the color change. Yikes. My foot's falling asleep. 
Ow. From like mint green to orange. Okay, last couple stitches. Nice. Nice. Okay. So I'm going to chop this off of this yarn. Whew. It's quite the marathon. I'm gonna put all of my dangly bits in my rainbow vomit. I use my tails that I cut off of all of my ends for stuffing uh, plush projects. So I save those for later. And I'm going to go to my BRB screen for a little bit so that I can set up the top down camera so we can do some sewing. So I will be right back. I will be right with you. Give me a minute to get everything set up. Okay, all right, we have top-down camera. So I'm going to start with some sewing in of some of these ends. So what I like to do with this is to turn it wrong side out. Gives me a flatter work surface. 
So for the most part, I've got a lot of uh, them already sewn in. But uh, with the frog and the triforce, I have not yet sewed in a majority of the things we have. I'm getting warm. A sweater while you're streaming. Always a mistake. So for all of these extra bits here, I have to sew them in because they didn't get weaved in as I went, which is unfortunate for me because now I'm going to have to go through and sew each and every one of these. Which is always a fun task. Ask anyone who works on any sort of fabric, fiber art. Sewing in your ends is the bane of everyone's existence. Nobody enjoys it for some reason. I wonder why. So you just, with this, you just do not want to make it so that it's visible on the opposite side. But you'll want to kind of go in and out. So that it's not going to pull out over time. You want to make sure you go a good distance. You'll kind of weave from one end to the other, or probably four or five times, just to make sure it won't slowly unravel itself. Ah! Sorry. I'm just going to open up this little... My little tea tin of tiny bits and pieces. Tiny bits and pieces. And... Gotta grab something real quick. Got to look at what I'm what I'm going to be doing. Of course. Oof. May the weaving in gods be with me. Find the best places to weave this, tuck this in. It's kind of hard sometimes to make sure you get uh, everything done right. Because you really don't want these showing out on the other side of your project. As you could imagine, it would kind of have not the best effect. To have it sticking out on the opposite side, because you don't want to show, say, the black secret agent a lurky hello. Welcome in, secret agent. How are- I would say how are you, but you're lurking. But I hope you're doing spectacular, Secret Agent. It's always good to see you. Fellow Agent of Chaos.
just doing some cross stitch. Yes, it's it's hard to type and do that at the same time. I am well. I am well. I'm just weaving in some ends myself. Um, because uh, I'll turn it right side out to show you what we've got going on here. This is the sweater of chaos. <laughs> Our lovely chaos sweater that chat helped me uh, design. So yeah, we've got a bunny and a triforce and a watermelon. And this is my favorite one so far. The little froggy is the cutest one I have ever I've ever knitted in somewhere. A pokeball. And that's the shapes that we have knitted in so far. I'm trying to decide uh, what I want to knit in next. A piece of pizza or a bumblebee. So I'm between the two. I'm kind of leaning more towards bumblebee because I think it would be cute to have it floating right above this like green that I have going on right now that you can't really see. It's been green for a while, so I think it would be cute to have the bee over the green, like it's floating over the grass. But pizza, the answer is always pizza. It is, and I am having some pizza for dinner tonight, so it is fitting. That is how. That is why the person who chose the piece of pizza to be knitted in decided on the piece of pizza is because they were having pizza for dinner. <laughs> So, I also need to have pizza for dinner. Oh yeah, it'll be delicious. At least I hope it'll be delicious. I have the house to myself. You having SOS, so that won't make it into your design, you don't think? <laughs> Well, you never know. I could knit the letters SOS into it. I might, I might need to. Just so that people will give me some help. Because wearing a sweater like this is a fashion choice. That people might think you need help for wearing it. Not gonna lie. Although, I can, I can pull it off. I've worn much crazier things in my life, to be fair. I have indeed worn much crazier outfits. I just have a ton of ends to weave in. No. What does what does SOS in this stand for? Because I'm afraid I will get it wrong if I answer. That's what I was guessing it was, actually. I just didn't want to say it because I, I didn't want to be wrong. I was just like, just in my head, I was like, is that shit on a shingle? Because I can, that's the only thing I can think of that has those initials. And I was like, nah, that can't be. <laughs> it's like, nah, it can't be shit on a shingle, can it? One of I don't think I've ever actually had it, ha had it, but uh, my dad used to talk about it all the time. Like it was one of his favorite things, but for some reason we never actually had it. 
It was probably something my grandmother used to make, to be fair. Just, he never shared with the class what the secrets to making it or what it was or what have you. My dad is really weird that way. One of your favorite comedians. I, I kind of want to try it sometime. I'm going to have to look up a recipe though. But I could definitely see. I could be in on it. I could, it could be something I could get behind. Hi again, Hannah. How is, how's it going? Did the crocheting get any easier? You can't do it. Well, you can always work your, work your way up to it. That's the good thing about crafting. Is that when things aren't going your way, or as planned, you can try it out in different ways. You can work your skills up to it. Go for something maybe a little less complex for a little while. And then before you know it, you will have the skills built up to do the thing you want to do. Crafting takes time. But I know that eventually you'll be able to do it. With enough practice, you'll be able to do it. I believe in you. Okay, this pink is just about as much woven in as I can manage. Aw. Well, keep practicing. Look at a couple different tutorials and try out a couple different ways of doing it and eventually you'll be able to do it. You just have to find what works for you. Don't give up on it though, because eventually you'll be able to get there. Believe me, I did not know what I was doing at all when I first started knitting. But with lots of practice, I've been able to knit some pretty cool things. If you're on the verge of tears, then probably put it down for now. You know, but when you get back to it, when you get back to crocheting, Try out those skills, maybe on a different pattern or something else. And eventually you'll learn the skills that you need to do it. But for sure, things like this can be frustrating the first time you give it a try. I haven't been brave enough to try crocheting myself yet. Oh, no, you're fine. Oop, timer. No, you're, you're, there's no reason for you to say sorry. You're fine. I just want to, I want to support you the best I can in giving you suggestions for what to do. I think that it's great that you are trying out crocheting and getting into it. Not a lot of people are brave enough to try new things. Crocheting and knitting is hard. They are not the easiest of things you can do. So I'm just proud of you for, for getting into it. Oh. 
Okay. Did you cut the yarn at all? Because a lot of times you can frog. So as long as you don't cut, you can take apart things, the knots or the stitches, and it's like new yarn just kind of bent up a little bit, but it will relax over time. Oh, so you cut it. I was say, anything but cutting is, is not permanent. So that, that is the nice thing about knitting and crocheting is until, until it's cut, it's not permanent. I've gotten quite a long ways into some work before and just taken out all of my yarn and said, hack it. Hack it. I am starting over. That is in fact what I'm going to be doing with a pair of socks that I started a month or so ago. Let me see if I can find them in the basket. So this is supposed to be a pair of socks that I started. So this is the toe. And it's worked from the toe up. So I'm about 50 rows into these socks with this very thin yarn. And I started on the foot and I realized the pattern was complete shite and wasn't going to work out for me. So I am going to at some point take these off the needles and just, I can even show you exactly what, what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to take the needles out and pull it out. Because it definitely wasn't working for me. The pattern was written really weird. I do believe with crochet you can do the exact same thing. Where you just take out stitch by stitch. And then it's fresh and new, albeit a little twisty twisty. I do have a little bit of a knot in here. But yeah, good idea. Once you get frustrated with something, it's only going to go worse if you don't take a break from it. Ta-da. Good idea. So I have to check on our battle. How far off are we from battle here, guys? Are we ready? It's just me. Of course we're not ready. It's not gonna work. Oh yeah. We're not gonna worry about that. <laughs> Four units were placed. Oh, it is more than me then. What? I'm confused. Okay, well, let's go over to the stream raiders and try, try our best. Well, I do a little switchy of my dinner, so I will be back. Stream raiders will go in the background. Let's go.
a victory. Sorry if you heard that. It's you too! I was worried I was by myself, Needlekind. Needlekind, you get coins! Victory! I'm glad I had you because the last one I was by myself. I was all by myself and it was scary. It was scary. How are you doing today? Let me grab the project off the floor. Because in my haste to switch the dinner around, I dumped my stuff on the floor. As one does. So we have a new battle. Oh, we'll do Archer. Okay. We are good to go. We are back. So. I frogged some socks that I had been working on. And I just needed to ball that back up real quick. Sock yarn. Because the socks that I was working on were not working out. There we are. Roll up my sleeves. And we are weaving in a little bit. So I missed a few of the weave-ins as I've been going. You can see some of the ones that I did do. Because uh, with the method that you showed me, it said not to do too many at a time. So I've only been doing like one or two because when I first started, I was doing way too many at a time. And I ended up with big bunches. So I do one or two and it works out pretty okay. Uh, so there were a few extras that got left behind, and I'm going through and sewing those in. So doing a little bit of sewing in. But I've made pretty good progress on the sweater so far. Okay. So I'm thinking down this way a little bit more. I need to maintain my face in frame here. I keep forgetting that you don't want to be looking at my forehead hairs. <sighs> AKA bangs. They might be pretty okay bangs, but ain't nobody wants to look at them that close. Our sweater here is coming along quite well. I'm between uh, knitting in a bee or a piece of pizza next. Kind of on the fence. Or which one to do? So if there's one you'd want to see, let me know.
does work better to kind of weave in with the same color uh, purl stitches on the back side, but sometimes I don't have access to the same color purl stitches on the back side, so I have to make do, which means that it's going to be a little extra chaotic, and I guess that's okay, because it's a sweater made of chaos. That my lovely chat picked the design for. So I can't complain too much because my chat do be lovely. Okay, that should be good for that one. Little tiny tail. Flip that off, shove that into my can of rainbow vomit. We've got a bra, we've got a triforce. We are almost halfway done with the second page of directions. Nice. So now I've got triforce to weave in. I'm trying to keep up with the weaving in of these ends. Because I do not want to let them go too long because then they will just never get weaved in. <laughs> you can imagine. Need to like sit up straight in order to be in frame. Sorry, so quiet. I focus. I'm sheer focus. Sheer focus. Drink. Focusing. Tuck that over. Oh goodness. Try to go in the opposite way here. So many ends to weave in. Even though I tried to weave them in as I went, sometimes it just doesn't work out as planned. And you end up with lots of extra, especially when you're working with like 10 colors at a time. You see, when you have chaos going on, it's bound to happen. You're better now, I'm glad. Sometimes you just need to take a step back from what you're working on and 
give it a breather, you know? Aww. Did Vixen talk you down from all the all the frustration? She's sweet. Aw. I love this for you. There we go. That's good. Ten minutes and she had to go. Aw. Did you talk on the phone or in person? Over the phone. Aw. I remember those days. when you used to hang out on the phone with your significant other for prolonged periods of time. I'll be quiet, but you're cute. You're cute. Sorry, I can't say that you're cute. I don't know, I find young love cute, okay? I just love love, you know? <laughs> as cheesy as it is, I just love love, you know? Okay. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, hey. Young, young people being in love. It's cute, okay? Hey, Kai. How's the streaming setup coming? I'm excited for you. I know you said this. You said that you were gonna start streaming, and I'm like, follow in advance. Follow. <laughs> I'm so excited for you because I was there not not that long ago. I've only been streaming for a few months now. What am I up to? I am weaving in some ends of the chaos sweater, which looks atrocious on the inside. I'm sorry. It looks a lot better on the outside, I promise. What am I doing up? It's only six o'clock. I'm allowed to be awake. You're gonna try one more time. Just go slow. Everything set up and did a test stream and it was super fun. <gasps> I'm so excited for you. It's, it's a lot of fun, I promise. If I can get this in frame. Here's our sweater. This is my favorite bit right there. So far. Watermelon. We've got a uh, Triforce. <laughs> We've got a little ooh, timer.
we've got a bunny. This bunny is uh, Sissel. It was named Sissel. And uh, there was a Pokeball here. So yeah, Pokeball. <laughs> you love the chaos. It was so much fun. I highly recommend to any person who streams knitting to give give the chaos sweater or the chaos knit or crowd control knitting a try because it was it was a lot of fun. So we've got some random stitches in various colors that people bought with bits. <laughs> one bit was one stitch. So people got creative and added in just random random bits of color here and there. <laughs> So Kai, what sort of crafts do you do? Do you, do you, I'm assuming you craft, but what kind of craft do you do? So yeah, that's, that's, that's where, that's where we're doing. How is your Saturday going, Mirror? Chat also picked the sparkly yarn for the cuffs <laughs> for a little extra chaos flavor i have to get something out of the oven i shall be right back give me a second Ooh, you do knitting and crochet, but you're still a beginner at both, so all I can really do is blankets and scarves. Other than that, not not much, but you do like arts and crafts occasionally. I do like this for you. I consider myself... I consider myself a beginner at knitting as well. I do not know how to crochet, not even a little bit. So. I consider myself a beginner at knitting. But a lot of people say that I'm totally not a beginner. <laughs> if you could drink, you would drink, but you can't. So, so... Are you in the mood for a drink? Has it been that kind of day? I think it's been that kind of day. You're working on your capelet. Had a day. It's been a day. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's been a day. Hannah, you are too little to be... I, although I don't know what country you live in. You're too little for drinks. <laughs> You're too little. You're too young. <laughs> bah! <laughs> yeah, you're in the US. You're too young. I think, unless you didn't update uh, your thing on your Twitch channel. Your, your Twitch channel did tell me in your bio that you were sick you were younger when you wrote it so unless you never updated it you're probably still too, too, still too young for drinking okay what color's next orange a box Box of yarn. Orange. I 
I mean, I guess it also depends on where you are in the U.S. I know some states have a thing where with your when, if you're with your parents and supervised, that's one thing. But it's only a select amount of areas. Where is my end? Lordy. Yeah, but we don't want to discuss age because that will invite creepy people into our chat. We do not want to invite creepy people into our chat. So... Let me grab. Ah. Oh. Uh -huh. This is not the greatest of color combinations I have ever knit into a sweater. I am 100% sure of that. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to deal with that. We do not want to be dealing with that. Stretch! Okay, it's time for a stretch. I need a stretch. Thank you, Hannah, for the stretchies. Thanks for reminding me to take a break. And crack all of my joints because I need it. I've got a consistent crack in my wrist that will just never go away. It's just never going to go away. Um, that is sufficient for that weaving in. And now we are good to just continue with... So, chat. Pizza or a bumblebee? What do we want to knit in? Pizza or bumblebee? Because I am on the fence. On what to knit in next. The bee! Pizza bee. A pizza bee. <laughs> you know, you're not the first person to say that. <laughs> okay. So, when the first person to tell me to start knitting the Pete the bee, I'll do it. So, when you want me to start knitting a bee, tell me whoa. Whoa, okay. So we're gonna start the bee right here, which is cool because we haven't had a shape in a little while. If I can get it in frame. So I'm going to grab, should the bee be upright or horizontal? Horizontal. Okay. Horizontal. Okay, we have we have multiple horizontals here. So the first row of the bee is just going to be gray. 
which is kind of hard to see. Let me switch over to the other picture of the slave bee that I have. So we get two rows in. Two. And then we grab... The white's not even in there. Lord. Just a little bit of white. And we will add this in our next stitch. Oh no, that is not good, Mirror. We do not like this for you. Although it does seem to sometimes go in phases, doesn't it? Yep. Um, back up just a little bit. Give myself halvesies on this so I don't have to weave in another strand later for the swing. Yes! You like peeling back the depression, though. Yeah. I can definitely see that that's probably feeling good for you. I don't know. Sometimes you gotta cherry one for another, but you still don't want to be suffering through that in general. I know, right? Hello. Welcome in. How'd you draw the white line so straight? Well, you see, there's this little thing called a ruler. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Do you like my desk? Got it from Ikea. How are you doing, Avenging Pineapple? I am knitting a bee. Just a little one. Oh no. Let me fix that. Alright, that is a... No, I'll do a couple more stitches with the white in it. You gotta practice, Avenging Pineapple. It takes practice to draw lines this straight. You have finished one chapter. I'm proud of you, Callie. How do I know what to knit? I wrote down every single redeem. And am slowly, slowly adding each of the redeems in one by one <laughs> I know I'm I was trying to do something real quick but I will get it I am too close to the desk first of all ooh you guys have a secret together now oh okay Yes, I have directions in a way. So I wrote down every redeem and I'm paying attention to uh, the shapes and the lines separately. <laughs> uh, this is the closest thing to an ugly Christmas sweater that I'm, I've ever knit. <laughs> I am currently knitting it. Mm. 
But it's not ugly. Well, this is the closest thing. It's the closest thing. Battle. Battle. So, I'm keeping track of the lines separately. No, this this is... I could honestly eat it for every meal. Or Thank just you eat for it following the time without even stopping. Welcome officially <laughs> to the club. No, I'm fat. surprised you've found me fat. multiple times Grab without base. following. <laughs> this I stole from someone else. My partner in life. It's not my sweater. I plan on knitting all of my clothes. I sew. I sew my clothes instead. So I haven't purchased clothes in pretty much two years now. So. Yeah, yarn is expensive is the main problem. Unless you have a hookup. But I've been, I've been sewing my own clothes for the last two years. So anything that I've purchased was two years ago. So the jeans I'm wearing, two years ago. <laughs> I have t-shirts left over. Uh, you know, I'm working on learning how to make undergarments. So could be a possibility in the future. hard to get them in your size. Oh, I understand that one. It, yeah. Undergarments are difficult to find in the right size. If you can find them in the right size, they're not the right fit. Squart. That is a pretty funny word. <gasps> That's not the whole story. <laughs> Well, I'm glad y'all are making friends. A bee suit. Now here. Here's what we really should be working on. Well, right now I'm knitting a bee and that's as close as I'm getting to a bee suit at the present time. Is this cute little bumblebee we're gonna have right about here? We're getting there. Unfortunately, it starts in orange, which is not the prettiest of colors, but don't tell odd. Ooh, you have to order them from Poland, my goodness. You know, if I get my craft down well enough that I feel comfortable making things for other people, I will, sh I will, I will, sh I'll hit you up, Mir, because, uh, square heart, mash it together and say squart. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Yeah. Learn how to knit and you can make yourself a bee suit. Could be fun. You know? You could crochet a heart into a square. And do like a granny square. Might be easier than an actual heart shaped thing. I'm just saying. Okay. No, really, if I if I get to the point where I can make stuff that I feel comfortable. Granny squares are hard, man. Are they? I don't know. I don't know crocheting enough to know whether or not they're hard. <laughs> We've got a stream raiders battle to get to. 
Granny squares are the worst. Are they though? Everyone does those. I figured they'd be easy. Ah, needle kind coming in. Coming in for helps. Help me out. You could wear the bee suit to the grocery store. Needle kind, you get a saint scroll. Fancy, fancy. You get a saint now. Ooh. But which way do we want to go? That one. Someone, <laughs> you have a whole fruit salad. <laughs> Ooh, this level looks cool. Oh. Go with my archer this time. Needle kind of knows the things. You have globes. <laughs> we all just be different sizes, makes and models, you know. Okay, last few stitches of the orange, and then... Oh, I should show you what I've got going on down here. So you can actually see the directions I'm going with. Let me switch over to the right camera so you can see it. So this is what I have for directions. You're an M. Yeah. That that is a size that they do not carry just about anywhere. That is a specialty buy. So you can't. You can't find an M. That is something you have to get custom made, right? So I've done this one. I've done this one. I've done this one. Uh, we're working on the B right now. We did the Triforce. I did the five purple and five blue scattered dots. We worked on the row of orange here. Next we have two rows of royal blue. Uh, and then two rows of light pink. <laughs> so these are the directions I'm working with. Which might not make a whole lot of sense to anybody other than me. But I put the amount of rows. And the color. For each person that made a redeem. I set Cheez-Its on this page. So it's a little yucky looking. But I did this whole page. <laughs> Don't put your Cheez-Its on your paper guys. So that's what we're working with. So I wrote down all of my directions. And I'm now working on the second page. I have this whole page and another page that I can't show you because it has somebody's address on it. I don't want to out somebody. But... Cheez-Its are delicious, though. You just shouldn't put them on your paper. <laughs> because they will stain them so hard. So, yep. Here we are. We've made it an, a round of orange. And next we get to work on blue. Uh, royal blue, specifically. Two rows of royal blue. So, that will be good. The blue and the orange go really good together. However, the orange and the mint green, not so much. Not so much. Mm. 
There we go. I've made pretty good progress today. Uh, I've been pretty much working on this all day because I've wanted to get parts of it done. So I started at the uh, primary color green this morning. So I've made some pretty good progress. I really do like this gradient back and forth. It's, it's spectacular. Spectacular. We are nine away from 200 followers. I'm excited. I'm excited. But yeah, this is where I started this morning. Pretty decent headway, I might say. I might say so myself. Royal blue. My very official looking box. That was organized. Oh yeah! You noticed the new emote. <laughs> it's just Bethilda knitting. <laughs> I was told I need a uh, a uh, yarn drop emote, but you were just just realized you were sitting on scissors. You know, I've done that before. It took literally forever to animate that. <laughs> I've had it sitting in my emote library for a while, just waiting for a reason to... Uh, waiting for uh, new emotes to put that up. I've been told that it is kind of creepy that she doesn't blink, though. Because I didn't think about that. I didn't think, ah, it might be cool if uh, she blinked her eyes. Because it's kind of a little creepy when you don't blink for a very long period of time. But I thought it was cute and it took me a long time to work on. And I know the general consensus was to make a uh, yarn drop emote, but... You know, maybe the next one will be a yarn drop emote because it's going to take me a while to, uh, a little while to be able to animate it. Because animating takes a while. Because I do all of my emotes myself. It's not my only job. Do want to make your heart sing. <laughs> I do think it's a cute emote, you know? It's hard to tell what it is from a distance, but as soon as you like go, you hover over it and it shows the bigger picture of it, you can see how cute it is. And the amount of moving things that I had to manage to get that whole thing to work the way it does. It makes me happy, so... We can't complain about more, uh, Bethilda emotes, we, can we? We can't complain about that. Unfortunately, the, uh, Bethilda that I, uh, knit has been commandeered by a small child for their personal use. So I'm going to have to steal it back at some point.
and probably upset the child, but... You know, what small child, my, my small child has stolen my Bathilda. Baby Bill has commandeered said small sheep for their, <laughs> their own selves. I was going to knit the dress for said small sheep today, but uh, without the sheep, I don't think I can manage making the whole dress. I do have small child. <laughs> I just don't talk about small child a whole lot. There we go, one wing. Yeah, it's just for their privacy. Just because I do something in, in front of a camera doesn't mean they have to too. Oh no, no, I have small child. They, they are uh, two. more stitches weaving in the white because we're done with using the white until we get to the opposite wing oh lord I have to grab myself my uh, dinner here pretty soon okay will do Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. They can be problematic sometimes. But, uh... You know, they're not that bad. Yeah, I don't... I don't... I will occasionally, for the family that never... Never sees us in person... Post in a... Private... Online album, but... I don't I don't share pictures really. I don't know. I think the kids deserve a lot more privacy than a lot of parents give them. You know, especially at that age when they haven't made that decision for themselves. You know, someday they might be embarrassed of all those pictures you post of them online. the last thing I want to do. <laughs> but yeah, too. Ah, we're not that bad. They're, they're pretty good, too. I've definitely met a lot of really terrible two-year-olds. But the... Pandemic babies, good morning. Good morning, Saf. How is Saf? Are a different, different kind of child, I think. <laughs> you just woke up. Well, I'm on the opposite end of things. I It's just about 7 p.m. for me. You should eat, everybody. If you haven't eaten, you better eat. I, pr I will probably take a little bit of a break here pretty soon to eat dinner, but I will be back. We've got a wing. We've got a, a bumblebee wing. 
But how are you, Sal? Did you have a lovely night's sleep? As soon as I finish this round, I will go grab my dinner as well and go to my VRB screen for a little, little tiny bit while I chow some dinner real quick. Because if I keep putting off dinner, I'm not going to end up eating dinner. Because I'll forget about it, like I have done for the past hour or so. You're good, slept well. The recipient of the cat portrait likes it. Life is good. I like this for you. I love this for you, in fact. And that was a heckin' handsome cat portrait, let me tell you. If we do a uh, Discord show and tell, I will show it off in a little bit. So if anybody wants to show and tell things on the Discord, get them in. Because we'll do a Discord show and tell in a little bit. Yeah, I did get it out of the oven, so it didn't burn, but it is probably getting cold now. He loved it! Ah, oh. I'm excited. I'm excited. I thought it was adorable. I love how much the uh, airbrush has made it so that you can make so much more detailed artwork. It is a little cleaner, for sure. And I know sometimes you want to go for more of a grungier look with, with the painting, but for those details, you don't want those details to get muddled up. So that airbrush is going to work wonders for that. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what you're going to get up to with it. Okay. Last two stitches and then I'm going to run and grab my dinner. But I'll just I'll, I'll just be gone for a quick break. I shall be back. For Discord show and tells and everything. Okay. I will be RB. I shall be RB after stuffing some pizza into my face. I shall be back.
Would this camera angle work for you? <laughs> I was just contemplating, like, would I be able to knit like this? Although it is upside down, so I would fix that. But would we be able to see it? There's a real question here. Although kind of not, because I would still have to hold it up here. Does this do anything for you? I mean, it's not too bad. Not a fan. Okay. I mean, I would turn it around. What about right side up? <laughs> Does this work better? Hello there. Hello there, Milk. How are you? <laughs> you startled me. Not a fan. Okay. I was just trying out something new. It's fully morning, what am I doing here? Well, it's Saturday and I had the place to myself, so I decided I would stream. I'm not streaming in the middle of your night. Weird, huh? This is weird, huh? What am I doing here? I'm knitting, mostly. <laughs> Maybe less sweater, like if I just took this off. I mean, I have a t-shirt on too. Would you like my t-shirt better? It's Saturday for me. It's Saturday at 7 p.m. for me. You thought I was on Easter <laughs> Yeah, it is surprisingly, uh, I, I, I stream at 6.30 a.m. Uh, my time on weekdays. And right now, it's 7 p.m. on Saturday. What's a girl to do? I mean, the last couple weekends I've done weekend stream. At later in the day. Excuse my garlic spread. Am I insane? Am I? Am I really insane? Who 
Who is buzz buzzing me? From beyond. Ah. It's just my best friend. It was just my best friend from schools back when I was a child. Nah, milk is the insane. Nah. I've met crazier milk. You're okay. You're good. You're normal here. You're normal here. Your normal is our kind of normal. We have 10 seconds until battle. Are we prepared? Needle kind, are we prepared? Are we prepared? Here we go. We better be prepared. Cause uh, it's time. It's time. We did it. And we get coins. Do we want to do easy? Yes. I think we do. We got coins. Because the easy one goes to the blue chest. And the blue chest has extra rewards. more rewards and it's easy so maybe I should try uh, the fairy um milk I'll have you know I worked I worked in a nursing home <laughs> I've met some people that were pretty out of it, whether it be temporarily or permanently. So, you know, screaming that's a lot more normal than some of the things I've seen. So, uh, yeah. 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 Needle, you lurk for your own dinner prep. May you have some delicious dinner. Cheers. Have a good lurk. Have a good dinner. Yes, yes. You have a delicious dinner. May it be the most delicious of delicious things. And I love, I love this emote, by the way. It's adorable. Little squirrel stuffing popcorn in their mouth. I love it. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. But thank you for placing a unit before you went. Because we're going to need all the help that we can get. You're gonna try not to choke? Unless you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> Milk likes being here and not losing sleep. Yeah. Unfortunately, this time usually doesn't work out for me. 
on weekdays because this is the time when everybody is home and we're usually eating dinner. So, unfortunately I can only do this on the weekends when I stream. And I don't always stream on the weekends, so... But I like to have you here, Milk. And I like that you don't have to lose sleep to be here. Sometimes you gotta have sleep. Okay, second row of the royal blue. Oh, thanks to me, Milk goes to school a little bit tired every day. Oh no. I'm sorry you go to school tired because of me. I'm sorry. You, to be fair, you did find me. You did follow me from a afternoon stream. So. Unfortunately, you got hooked on a time that I usually didn't stream from. I need to back up this ditch. Back up this ditch. I need to get yellow. Yeah, I blame Ida too. Ida, how dare you? Craftsman, how are you doing? It's been a while. How is it being? Yellow. Not the right yellow. Blue. Blue. Uh, yellow. I'm torturing myself. Ida. Working a lot. Of, yeah, you said you were on a, a pretty consistently busy schedule with work after your break. That you were picking up thing, things at work were picking up. And you've been doing commissions. Woo-wee. You got a lot going on. How are the commissions going? How did the one project that you were... I know... But I read it Ida because my great-grandmother's name was Ida. <laughs> so when I see Ida, I think Ida because family name. You know? I just think of my grandmother, I'm sorry. I know we've been over this. Oh no, why are we sad? Ida. Ida was my great-grandmother's name. Uh, Ida. Ida. Is another streamer. In which brought milk to us. Oh so long ago. It's been a while now. Cute dinosaur pattern that's free calls for a magic circle. Yeah, a lot of the free ones that I've seen use a magic circle. And I don't understand the magic circle. I understand knitting. So. One month, 29 days, 12 hours. For one day, 10 hours, Hannah. One of you has been here a little longer than the other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Milk is kind of like, yeah. And we already love you already. So, you know, you're stuck with us now. You are stuck with us now. You're part of the gang now, Hannah.
It is milk. It is milk. Milk is our favorite. We do love milk quite a bit. Okay, we've got a bee going in. We got a bee coming in. Okay, got that going for us. And then there's an eye. And then we will drop these. And then build off of that. Oh, no, good lord. Here we are. Here we are. You're trying to tie your mustache up? What are you- why are you tying a mustache up? What the heck is tying your mustache up? What, what are you tying your mustache up for? I'm confused. What does one tie up mustache for? I must know. Is it in the way? Is that is that what you're tying it up for? I'm confused. I didn't know tying up a mustache was a thing. There was no milk must milk stash when I took a drink of milk. Oh, you don't, you don't want to, you don't want to get your, your mustache with milk in it. I get you, I get you. Nobody wants to have milk mustache. If you want to know who is the OG OG, uh, I, I remember my very first follower. Hasn't been around in a little while because they've been taking exams and studying for a very important test. But, uh, my OG follower comes around. Uh, my mod, uh, Jay-Z, uh, is one of my first one, one of my first followers too. I don't know if followage works for adding people, but. Hold on, I say. I don't know if that works. Sketch is one of the OGs. Now, if we can find someone who followed me like three months ago, then that's a really OG. I can't imagine who that is, other than uh, the original. Two months, seven days, ten hours, Kelly. You've been here for a long time. You're a pretty OG too, Kelly. <laughs> I mean, Saf's been here, yeah. Saf's been here for quite some time, yeah. When you consider that I've only been streaming for three months. I'm trying to think of who, who was really early. 
And if they still stick around. Uh, I'm trying to think of who was here when I was streaming from my living room. Because that was a time. Back when I was streaming from my living room. Because, I mean, Saf, Saf was here when I was streaming from my living room. Yeah. But I think that was when my internet was out. I'm trying to think. Because, like, I remember Jay-Z Jay -Z being here. Who else is here? I knew Neil Poron. Oh, wow, Callie. <laughs> You've spent two days and four hours watching me. <laughs> We've got to up those numbers. Gotta... Him's a rookie no <laughs> Him's a rookie <laughs> Two days and five hours. Oh Saf Saf is in the lead now. Saf, you're in the lead for watch time. By an hour. You gotta take out the I in front of that, uh, Hannah. Zero seconds? How does that happen? You got zero sex. How does that happen? I know you've been here longer than zero seconds. That is strange. That is mighty strange. You've been duped. You've been duped. doped out of your numbers got 13 minutes what about cookie how long has cookie been here I'm curious although cookie is not here right now I'm curious If I spelled that right. Ah, oh, I spelled it wrong. I spelled it wrong. I spelled it wrong. <laughs> I'll look that up later because Cookie Cookie was my first subscriber <laughs> 
And they've been around for a long time, too. So. It'll be fun to see how those grow over time. It'll be fun. So I'm, I think I'm almost done. Yeah, I'm almost done with the round. I am almost done with the round. I am very excited. Because then we're going to have to look at what our next directions are. happy with this little frog. Look at that little guy. He's just a cutie patootie. He's a cute, cute little froggy. Okay. We've got blue. What comes after blue? We did a row of orange. We did two. We did pad ties, pad ties, two royal blue. Uh rows. Next we have two light pink. So let me get the light pink. Out of the box! Let us cut this out. Cut it out. Yeet! Milk has returned. Welcome back, Milk. I have pink. I'll probably start knitting in the pizza next? Somewhat soon, because I don't want to run out of sleeve. This is quite the fashion statement. <laughs> quite the look. Okay. First stitch in. And then we will... Knit in this blue end. You too. Get this one in. So I'm just knitting them in every other row. So that... We, I don't have to weave them in later with the needle. Mm. 
which is a little inconvenient. Ugh. What's that supposed to mean? You two. That it's that it's cute that you guys are excited to see each other. If that's what you're talking about. I like when people are excited to see each other in my chat. It's just like I'm excited when you see Cookie and Belk and Cookie are finally together again. I think it's cool that people look forward to seeing each other in my chat. That is all. You, you're gonna play Stardew? How long have you been playing Stardew, Hannah? Long time? What are you working on? I've only tried Stardew once. Uh, and I was unable to really play it. Okay, we are one row in to the body. So we need to start one step back. So I need to be wary of that as we approach. You're on spring year three. Oh, so two months, nice. Okay, so we need to get a bee butt going on here. Whoa. You have 30 hours of gameplay on this farm. Nice. That's a decent amount. Okay. Do you like it so far? Mm, I'm gonna need more yellow. I just realized I was running out. So we do not want to do that. And the next two will be yellow. Yarn management, not my strong suit. Two stitches. There we are. We're starting to take shape. What happened, Milk? What were they trying to trick you into? What were they trying to trick you into? What was their trick? Was it dirty? He said, look on the craft chat. There's a big booby goth GF and then put a trap card gif in the craft chat. Oh no. Oh no. They trying to trick you. Two 
two rows of light pink. Aw. No. That wasn't very nice. You don't want to play Star <laughs> I've been there. You load up a game and then you get into a game and you're like, I don't want to play this. It happened to me when I was playing The Sims the other day. I got into the game, I played for like an hour and I was like, I'm not feeling this. I'm not feeling this. Milk is milk. Milk can insult themselves. True. But still, you're not an idiot. You want to go home even though you're already home? Ooh. You just don't know what to do. Yeah, you know, sometimes you have that feeling. I can relate to that. relate to that. Sometimes your home just doesn't feel feel right. Time for battle. Oh. Battle time. As soon as it actually loads and says that it's battle time. There we go. There we are. Battle time. There's some crystals. Don't cry, Hannah. Victory is ours. Is it Saints Grows? I like it. Probably last battle, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe? 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 I don't know. Oh no. You can talk here as much as you want, Hannah. We are here. We are here to chat. We are here to talk. I've got a little bee. A little bee booty coming in. Halfway there, baby? Not too shabby. Milk says as they start choking on their water, I've been there. I've been there before. <laughs> Say something nice and endearing and then you almost die yourself. Happens. Stretch. A stretch and a hydrate. Good time for a break, everybody. Take a stretch. And if you're really fortunate, yes, you take care of your streamer because your streamer doesn't know how to take care of themselves. Cheers, chat. 
understand a posture, which I know mine is terrible right now. Thank you. I shall sit up like a good gal. Ugh. There we go, is that better? A few moments later. Hi, Dre. Cheers, chat. Oh no. That was three. <laughs> Thank you, too, for making sure that I take care of myself so I can remind you to take care of yourselves. Milk, stop choking. <laughs> Don't choke. But I am here. I've got a new drink. I've got a sweat. Well, don't be sad. You got us. We've got a sweater. A sweater made of love and chaos. Got the art of taking care of yourself mastered. How about you guys? Well, you see, I have this mental condition where I forget that I have bodily needs. So... <laughs> I'm, I'm great at taking care of other people, don't get me wrong, but myself? I forget that I have things that I need to do. Yeah, that's why you tell me to drink drink liquids and eat foods and stretch my body out. This is why I have Chad to remind me to take care of myself. Because I can't remember on my own. Okay. I need to finish this row. Then I need to look up something. Real quick. Because I need to know something. I'm going to take a drink of my pancake drink. Ooh, yeah, that is the scary thing about parents sometimes. Are you not supposed to be talking to Vixen? Do Vixen's parents have a problem with, with her texting? I remember those days. Yeah, Hannah, maybe get in on the Discord. If you ever need someone to talk to, there are always people around on the Discord. What, Vixen's not allowed to have friends?
Yeah, milk is on the Discord. If you ever want to get on the Discord. So are a lot of other cool people too. But mostly milk. Milk is the coolest. That's how I do- Hello there. Hello, Simple Sprinkle. How are you? You are a friendo. You are a friendo that I have yet to meet. How are you? How was stream? What were you up to? What were you up to in stream today? Or just eat it all the time without even stopping. Oh, thank you, Spaceman, for the follow. No, we are getting very pop. close Grab. to 200 followers. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> but what were you up to in stream today? Oh, <gasps> you crocheted all day and cooked breakfast for dinner after. I like this for you. I like this for you. What did you crochet? What did you crochet? I have to do it, but I was just about to do it. Thank you, Hannah, for trying. You started learning today. <gasps> this is very exciting. One really small, okay. You wanna do one really small? Good try. And run really big on the like cover what are you or making below here? it they look the, the, kind of like fudge stripes but like opposite i like it they I'm look delicious like right here your mommy cookies and then the big ones are like this yum yum so how did the first time crocheting go? How did it go? It can be scary to start something new. But I'm always excited when people try. Because yarn crafts are hard, but they're worth it once you figure it out. But fun! Wonky but fun. I love it. I love it so much. I love it a whole lot. Yeah, yeah. Starting out can be very hard, but once you get the hang of it. I could honestly eat it for every Aw, thank you. I just eat it all the time without even stopping. Thank you, Simple Sprinkle. <laughs> get fat. For the fun. No, why would I get fat? Bread makes you fat. Bread makes. Welcome in. Welcome in. That's one step closer. We're at 193, so we have a few more to go. But we're getting close. We're getting very close. But yeah, it can definitely be seven more. Yeah, we're getting close. I'm excited. I'm excited about it. But what did you try for the first time? I do understand if you do have to have to get out and, and take care of yourself. Yes, you go you go eat your dinner and have a good rest of your night. Thank you for rating. That was so sweet of you. That was so sweet of you. Have the best of breakfast for dinner. It is personally, personally a favorite. You gotta have a good breakfast for dinner every once in a while. Or what are you doing with your life? But if you are just jumping in, oh, thank you, Spaceman, for the lurk. If you are just jumping in, I am working on my chaos sweater, which is a pattern that I had the help of chat designing. So chat decided the colors and the shapes and the amount of rows by subbing, gifting, bits, 
and spinning wheel. Oh, did I not? Thank you for telling me before I forgot because I thought I might have, but I might not have at the same time. So I better, uh, better do that. I didn't. I thought I did, but I didn't. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder, Secret Agent. <laughs> I did it. So chat helped me design this. And it is, uh, it is a fashion statement, to say the least. So we've been working on this for five-ish days. This, the design was made in celebration of three months of me streaming. So we, uh, we're making quite the sweater here. But I think it's looking good so far. It is a bit colorful. It is a bit loud. It has a frog and a bunny. Hi! Hi, Geo. How are you? It has a uh, Triforce. We have a Pokeball. And a watermelon? You're gonna go? Okay. You have a good night. Hopefully your night gets better, Hannah. You know where to find us if you need us. Uh, I feel like there was another shape somewhere here. We're currently working on knitting in a bumblebee. Right here. So, oh, hopefully you'll feel better. Hopefully you'll feel better. Do let us know if you need anything. Let us know if you need a chat or a virtual hug. We're always around, if you know where to find us. You need help. I give you the biggest of virtual hugs. And uh, for the road. Do find us on Discord, if you do need something. There's always people around on the Discord. Lots and lots of us. And we're always help we're always happy to help. You do not have anything to be sorry for. Do not apologize. You've got to take care of you. I don't know why either. You have done nothing wrong, Hannah. Well, I just want you to know that there's always someone around if you need help. Or if you need a... <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> if you need someone to talk to, we're always around. We're all very nice. I dropped a ball. Dropped my ball. Heck. I dropped my other ball trying to retrieve my ball. Where's Shire Tone, the official ball drop counter when you need them? Now I'm gonna have to type in my ball drops by myself. Because someone has to do it. <laughs> I've dropped my ball 27 times in the last three weeks. I should feel shame. Shame. Shame on me. For dropping my balls so frequently. I know, I've gotta stop dropping, I gotta stop dropping balls. But you know what? It just happens sometimes, you know? It just happens sometimes. You know, you just come of an age 
when th changes are happening and you just drop your balls. There's nothing you can do about it. Okay, I do need some more black. Uh, I yeeted my black ball earlier. Don't say shame on me, just yell for shame. <laughs> We need some black. But only for two rows. Yeah, only two black stripes this time. We don't need a long piece of black. There we go. Okay. Gotta get our B butt done. that even and then this next stitch I'm going to carry over the pink and the black so that I knit in the black and the pink as I'm knitting with the yellow like that oh lord it's coming unscrewed I'm coming unscrewed. You're back. Welcome back. We're always happy to have you. We're always happy to have you. Okay. And then this one, we're going to knit in the pink and the black inside the yellow. So we're creating stripes right here. This right here is stripes. And with any luck, we will have ourselves a bit of a bumblebee here. Maybe just a wee bit. Let me get a couple stitches in and then I'll show you what we've got going on. Uh-oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh. So, little bumblebee. So I am going to take a needle and I see an issue arising where I didn't thread something in properly. So I'm going to take this needle and I'm going to thread through the back of the previous stitch here. And then back forward because I see a little hole coming through. We don't want that. So. Ah, it doesn't want to stay in. There we go. So just for one stitch, I'm going to create a little loop right there to hold that together. And it shouldn't be visible on the front. It just loops together this pink stitch and this yellow stitch so that we're not going to have a hole in our work later. Best to fix that problem before it even really, really happens. You're fine. Okay. I like having you though. I like having you here, Hannah. You beautiful soul, you. Don't make me find you on Discord. I'll find you on Discord. Tell Milk. Milk will tell you. I will find you on Discord. I sound like I'm being threatening. I'm just everybody's, like, extra mom. <laughs> just want to be everybody's helper, I guess. I don't know. A 
Aw. Yeah, look at that bee. It's coming in. It's coming in. I'm perfectly pleased with that. It's been four hours. Since what? Since, uh, you talked to Vixen? Oh, since I've started. Goodness. Yeah, it has been four hours. And you were one of the first people here, Hannah. And just think, I, I was knitting this six hours before I started streaming. <laughs> Someone asked me the other day if this was a, uh, a ball that I was knitting. I was like, no, it's a sleeve. It's a sleeve. I... Milk woke up late. Yeah, that happens. That happens. <laughs> to be fair, I said that I would probably get off after the next battle. So, you got about 10 minutes left. So, enjoy. I'm just going to enjoy every little minute that I have with all of you. Little chaoslings, you. I've gotten through almost a whole page of directions. During stream today. So you guys have kept me focused. and productive. Look at you all go. Hi Kai, how you doing? Welcome back. How is the crochet going? We have made it to some pink. In our chaos sweater here. And we are partial way through a bee, which looks pretty darn cute. It's just a wee little thing. So after the bee, I'll probably start to knit in the pizza. And then we're pretty much halfway done with the second page of directions. So. We've made progress. That is 100% sure. I don't know what color I'm supposed to move on to next. It's going well. You went out for a bit, so you had so you had to leave. But you're back now and just setting up some Streamlabs stuff. Ooh, are you using Streamlabs? I've been listening to you, which sounds weird, but I've been listening. <laughs> I've been listening to you. You, sir, 
are very talented. Uh, pretty much all of it, so... <laughs> Except for when it was buffering, which happened sometimes, but yeah. You were up on my phone and I was listening to you on my headphones. <laughs> you find it the easiest, so you're just trying it out. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people say it's easiest to start out with Streamlabs, but uh, a lot of people end up not liking it that much because it apparently limits you because it has like premium features. I use uh, stream elements. Why is my phone blasting off over there? My goodness. You use Streamlabs too? Huh. But, for future reference, chat, our friend here, I'm reaching across several things to type this. Uh, <laughs> our friend here, Savage, is an amazing guitar player and makes music you should give them a follow you should there's nothing stopping you from following you know and they be good songs talent the talent I was going to type in your chat, Savage, but it was not working for me. It kept on just doing the... The loady bit. You know? And it's saying that chat was not available at this time. It was very sad. Battle. Battle. It was just a test stream, the one that I was uh, listening to, because that was pretty good. I was about to say, it was going in and out, because apparently my internet didn't want to work on my phone. But, <gasps> you're gonna sing? You're gonna sing? Ooh, hopefully next time I can listen and watch to my full potential. You messaged me like, I'm alive, and I'm just like, me too. <laughs> like, same. <laughs> We've got a battle to win or lose. Let us see how we do. Secret Agent is going to be carrying us. Secret Agent. <laughs> but I, I was listening. I was listening. Not you. Well, you have the most people on the battlefield. You're gonna carry us, the secret agent. You're gonna carry us through this battle. <laughs> Victory. Oh, well, true. But I don't know, Nomin Man. Secret agent, you get coins and so does Nominan. <laughs> and we've progressed to tier 19. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And one last battle? Maybe. I know I said maybe not, but one last battle. <laughs> I can't help myself. You must call it a night. Okay. Well, you have yourself 
a good rest of your night. Get some sleep. You get some sleeps. Do what the things that you need to do. Coconut. Who's, who's is this coconut? I don't see a coconut. Whomst. Whomst. Whomst is this coconut? Although there is a coconut that follows me, I think. So that's probably the one. But I don't see them in chat. Oh, yes, there they are. My apologies. It's like I didn't see them say anything. I was like, I know a coconut follows me, but I haven't seen them type anything. Are they here? Why are you sad? Tell me. You're lurking in work. Lurk in work. Do yourself a lurk in work. Do yourself a lurk and work. I enjoyed your music today, Savage. Savage, you should... Did you play Careless Whisper? Because I must have missed it, if you did. It must have been in one of my buffering times. My phone doesn't like it that I'm using up all the internet by streaming. <laughs> oh, three times. Oh, I love this. I'm going to have to go back and watch that. We all know how I feel about Careless Whisper. We all know how I feel about it. I'm going to have to go listen again. But yes, Hannah, that that is that is tough. That very well is a good reason to be sad. And it's going to take a while for the sadness to kind of fade a little bit into like a happy remembrance, but that is tough, especially for someone in your level of life to have to go through that. I am, I am so sorry that you have to go through that. Why am I on the screen? Why am I there? I don't know. What am I doing? You're just looking at chat in extreme close-up form. It distracted me very much. Yes, yes. Oh, that's a that's a rough way to I am I'm so sorry. Compartmentalized. Sorry. Did a did a thing. Blue, purple, white. You have a fire? Yeah, yeah, you're remembering that, you know. That it's coming up. I, I, I know not that it's, you know, the same thing, but I, I felt the same way kind of a couple months ago. Uh, I, I lost someone very close to me to COVID, uh, just, just over a year ago. And, uh, it sucks. When you think of all the things that could have been done to prevent it from happening. And milk has a fire. I don't want to cry, so I shouldn't 
talk about it because last time I talked about it on stream, I did cry and I don't like crying publicly. Emotions are hard and I'm gonna start. Oh, I, yeah, I 100% I understand that. 100%. Coming from not a friend situation, but a family member that was really close to me. Uh, I did fortunately, I was able to call them uh, like a good day before they passed, but uh, it was it was not a helpful phone call for me just because Aw. And that's probably bringing up memories for you too. Sorry. I'm getting I I have a hard time with emotion. What was I doing? Hydrate. Thank you, Hannah. <laughs> give me the pancake drink. It will get me through all the hard times. I need blue. Uh, should I go with dark or light blue? No, you're fine, Hannah. You're fine. I just, I thought about my own situation and I got a little flustered about it and I have a hard time with emotions. So I start fidgeting and I start like tapping my leg and yeah. It will get better. That is a good thing. Well, they'll their memories will never go away. And the good times you never have will go away, but the pain will lessen. And I'm also sorry for your loss, Savage. I know the last several years have been not the greatest of years. In general. <laughs> Just a lot of bad, bad stuff. Gonna go with a blue we haven't had before. Where's the end of this ball? Where is the end of this ball? Savage is gonna have to play me careless whisper. It was probably better than the one that I have on my channel. One could use some careless wisp for right now. Oh goodness, I almost dropped a ball, but I caught it. Where is the end? There's the end. There is it. There it is. Yeah, it was cool. In the days when people were actually... I don't know how it was for you, Savage, in... In your home country, but... It was cool for the amount of time that people did actually care about other people. <laughs> Where I was, anyways. <laughs> you know, the first couple months when everyone was terrified for their lives. Fun times. It's always nice to have hope. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. I'm going to use this blue because we have not used this blue yet. And I'm a gal that likes to use colors that I haven't used yet. If you can't tell. If you can't tell by my sweater, 
I like to use all the colors. I took two. If you can't tell, I use all the colors. Thank you, Hannah, for the deep breaths. I need to I need to do that more often. What? Can you tell that I like to use all the colors? Because I like to use all the colors. Do we like to use all the colors around here? Um, excuse me. Knit with the right side, woman. You worked the midday evening shift on national COVID contract research and prevention. Oof. In the nights you went to 24-7 fitness, you avoided all busy things back then. It's pretty cool to avoid a lot of stuff. Yeah, I don't think I left my house for the first... Well, this is kind of weird because I say I don't think I left... I don't feel like I left my house a lot, but I was still working at the beginning of it. And I worked in healthcare. <laughs> so other than going to work, at the beginning, I did not go anywhere. So, uh... Yeah. I remember, because I worked in a nursing facility. Uh, my, I'm trained in occupational therapy. Uh, if y'all haven't been around to hear that before, I do state it every once in a while. Uh, so I was working in a nursing home uh, in 2020. And... <laughs> It was a time, to say the least. So, uh, I didn't really go anywhere when I wasn't working until I stopped working, which was in the, I stopped working in April of 2020. I, my doctor put me on medical leave in April. So, uh, I was working up until that point when my doctor would no longer let me because of my various health conditions. Uh, I did not get, I did not get COVID until uh, 2022. So I was fortunate. But I've had a friend who has had it like four times. So, yeah. Yeah. Hope is what got milk through lots of experiences. I'm currently getting milk through life right now, literally running on hope. First week of school, already getting... Ugh. You're lucky. Uh, I made it out... I made it as far as I did. Because I don't really go anywhere. But then... Somebody... Who works with one of my family members... Decided to go on vacation and take a plane somewhere on vacation and also take their uh, 13 month old on vacation with them and their spouse. And then when they were on vacation, the child and the spouse got sick and then they flo flew home. And then the guy went back to work Knowing that his everyone else in his family had it. 
And then, despite everybody in the office taking precautions, spread it to the whole office. The whole office. <laughs> the whole office. Everybody in the office got it. Because this one guy went on vacation. His family got sick. He came into work because he was feeling fine, but the rest of his family was sick. Yes, Hannah, my dear, my friend. You cannot wait till you get paid. I concur. Isn't that what it's like getting paid? You're always waiting to get paid and you're always excited to get paid. But I'm excited for you so that you can get paid. I believe in you. Uh, is this the last? This is the last row of stitches in the bee body, anyways. The bee body. And you know what I'm kind of standing right now? The fact. What? Oh. That is sweet of you. The fact, I'm standing the fact that this pink and this blue look like cotton candy. You can't even see it from that angle. But the light pink and the light blue, and they're cotton candy colors and they ended up next to each other. Hannah, that is awfully sweet. That is awfully sweet of you. I got a bee butt. I have been happier since I met you, Hannah. You're a good bean to have around. Ah, my fingers are failing me. Oh, oh, I'm sorry you have a headache from, from the sads. What can I do to make the sads the glads? I'm gonna get progressively shorter in my chair. Does that help? We've got one more wing. Two more rows. And we have ourselves a bumblebee. You can't even let me have it for five seconds. You can't even let me have it for five seconds, Hannah. Hello. <laughs> you, can't <laughs> you can't even let me have it for five seconds. <laughs> I'll behave myself. I will sit in my chair upright like I should. Thanks. How is my posture? Is it up to satisfaction, Hannah? Satisfaction. Do we like it? Is it of liking to you? Good. Are you just waiting for every single time I try to like scooch down in my chair and sit on my feet? <laughs> P 
posture is graceful. <laughs> but what if I was like... Because this is comfy. No, I can't sit like that. Okay, I, I'll sit up. I'll be good. I'll be good. I shall behave myself just slightly. Is my posture up to satisfaction? You're old for taking care. <laughs> okay. I'm not that old. I'm not that old, I promise. I am fragile, but I am not old. Don't be an old shrimp. True, you gotta you gotta take care of me now so that when I am old that I'm not having the problems with the walking. I'm kinda scared for when I get old because uh when my muscles start to deteriorate I'm gonna be like a just a pile of pile of goo and bones. I wonder if there's been any studies done on uh, how hypermobility affects older people. I'd be interested to see it. Because I have enough trouble holding my body together with my young person muscles. Let alone in another 40 years when I'm decrepit. I'm not going to be able to do anything. I'll just be sitting there. Don't old people get stiffer? Well, that's the question, though. Like, how would my hypermobility reflect over the course of my life? <laughs> because, like, I, I have... I'm a very stretchy, stretchy person. I get that. But like, I'm also a person, because of this problem, has a hard time walking when they're not paying attention. <laughs> not because I run into things. So here's the thing. When I'm tired, and I don't have enough brain power to tell my body to not collapse on itself, I will like, take a step, and instead of my leg holding up my weight it does one of these to say this is my face it does one of these <laughs> so uh i think this is going to be problematic i think i'm going to be a person that falls a lot because as it is if I'm not paying attention real hard when I'm tired, I will fall and hurt myself. Let alone the fact that I get dizzy sometimes, so... Uh, most ankle does one of those. Uh, picture that, but all of your joints in your body. Yeah. So... Like, say these are my legs, right? They do the bends like this. I can't hold it flat enough to get my point across. So. Ah. Uh, yeah. Mine do that super hard, even as an adult. You've all seen my arms. You've seen my arms do the thing. Mm 
You know that they do the things. This is normal range of motion for my body. This is not me trying to bend it backwards. That's some high tech CGI. Yeah, both of them do. Both of them do that. This is straight for my arm. So, not that I can get my legs on camera or anything fairly easily, but uh, my legs bend weird too. And I can bend my feet in half. It's gross. <laughs> but I'm interested to see how that's going to affect me for the rest of my life. Insanely tall and hypermobile. Yeah. I've got long legs, so I can feel that one. Over two meters. That's pretty tall. From if I do the maths in my head right. That's pretty tall. <laughs> I have to say. I do freedom units, but uh, two meters is pretty tall if I recall correctly. He's a freak for his profession. What sort of profession does he do? I must know. Pancake drink. If I wasn't so accident prone, I could work for the circus. Hmm. They're shot. <laughs> he scares people on the Six Flags Scary Nights. Oh, I like this for your friend. I like this for your friend. You know, when you have different abilities than other people, you gotta use them to your advantage. I can fit into some weird places because, uh, I'm so tall and thin, and I also am bendy in weird ways. So, you know, gotta use that to your advantage. Hannah, why are you cold? I saw that up there. I just got momentarily distracted. Why is Hannah cold? Also, we got two minutes until battle, and then I am going to get off. I see. Hey, you gotta use your stuff to your advantages. You ever have to fit in a very slim place that has a curve in it? I can do that. I'm capable. I'm strong. I just keep giving you one. Okay, last few stitches before the battle goes off. And then after the battle is done, I shall find a raid to raid. Because it is almost nine o'clock and it has almost been five hours. You're impressed. Well, I'm glad. Someone's got to be impressed with my abilities. <laughs> 30 seconds. Awesome. I think we've made quite a bit of headway. Almost four hours? No, it's almost been five hours. Yeah. Yes, dear. Go to bed. Well, it's only 9 p.m. Look at this dope. 
I'm looking dead though. I'm looking dead though. Yeah, but I regularly, I've been regularly doing this long. This is a fairly regular amount of time for me. I've been doing four hours. Most recently. It's time for battle. Are we prepared? Or are we going to lose our last battle of the night? Shall we see? Shall we see? Ooh, wow. Major? Major jumping in with some units. I see Major. I see Major there. Oh no. I do not like this, Anna. Is your mom's fiance not a, not a good person? It sounds like they're not a good person. Victory! Victory! What do we get? Oh, you just get scared of people. Major! Major with the tank scrolls. Awesome possum 69! Because of your father. Well, at least he seems better than your father. Perhaps. Congrats, guys, on battle. Thank you to all who helped out. Is he having the confusions? Is whomst having the confusions? Fathers do be that way sometimes. I was about to say, I didn't grow up with the best of circumstances as far as fathers either. So. I get you. I get you. I feel you. Let's, let's go back to the screen. And look at what we've done. Look at what we've done. So, I think when I started stream, I was somewhere around here. So, look at all that. And today, I started here. So, that is a lot of progress. So, if we look at it on an arm, we are nearly halfway up my arm. Look at that. That is a progress, if I do say so myself. This is the chaos sweater, Savage. This is the chaos sweater. This is how far, Chaos Sweater. Where's your orange? This. I'm surprised you can't see it. <laughs> I'm surprised you can't see this orange. I was about to say, you could probably see it if you looked out your window. And I'm, like, thousands of miles. Thousands and thousands of miles away. Posture <laughs> That, my friend, is your orange right there. Yeah. Yeah. That's your orange. <laughs> you could probably see it if you looked out your window, because it's bright as hell. <laughs> I'm just saying, bright. Bright is bright as hell. <laughs> it's like a beacon. So yeah, you're 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 right there. And then this one is needle kind. Yeah. And this one is uh Cali. And then this gradient. It turns the whole camera orange.
it turns my hair orange. It turns the world orange. There you go. <laughs> it's so bright. Everything was orange. Yeah, the closer it gets, the more orange I turn. Yeah. <laughs> But we also have a Triforce. We have a watermelon. We have a froggy. We have a Pokeball. We have a bunny. And we are almost done with a Bumblebee. We've made some progress, you know, because the, the bumblebee is the third shape I'll have knitted in today. And that's pretty darn impressive, if you ask me. Milk is orange blinded. <laughs> me too. Me too. It's pretty orange. If I do say it's pretty, pretty orange. It's pretty orange. And I'm probably going to continue uh, doing rows for subs and gift subs for a little while because I am going to run out of uh, rows before I run out of shapes. And I'm probably going to run out of rows before I run out of arm. So this is quite the look. Quite the look. We are also going to knit chaos across the front of this sweater. Because, you know, if people don't get the, the reference to chaos. Now, you need, to, you need to tell them across your chest. So, I do like how it's coming. I like it quite a bit. It's gonna be quite, quite the thing. See me wearing this at the grocery store? You know you wanna be me. <laughs> All the other girls are gonna be jealous. <laughs> but that is going to be all for tonight. So I need to find somebody to raid. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, we have options. We have options. I have so many Discord notifications, I don't even know. We have... We have... Crochet. Do we want to go do a crochet? Crochet, perhaps? L the little comet is crocheting, so I think we'll go to the little comet. Say hello to the little comet. They look like they're doing granny squares of some sort, and I'm excited to see. I am excited to see. So let's head on over there. Give them a happy hello from us to them. But until then, I want to wish for you the best of the rest of your weekend at whatever point you are in your weekend. And have the most spectacular mornings, afternoons, evenings, or nights. And... I will see you all on Monday. Until then, bye-bye. 
I love you all and I want to thank you all very much for everything that you do for me. I will see you all Monday. Bye.